All right, y'all, so we have fished around for a couple minutes and it is time. We just suited up. I mean, fish are gonna hop in the water here. It's like a greenish, deep green color. Not the greatest, but not the worst. So we're gonna go in there and see if we can find, hopefully, a big red snapper. Blake's on a Blake's on, so I'm just getting all my stuff on. And Blake oh, just rod freaking in, so yanked the help heck out of that rod. <laughs> big fish on, screaming drag. Hopefully it's a big snapper. Blake and Hunter didn't bring dive gear today, so no job, if he can get some red snapper, that's going to be oh, awesome. Because yeah. I know oh, if we're shit. spearfishing, we're going to get some. Oh, that's yeah. a big red snapper. snapper dude. That's a keeper, dude. dude, that, dude. Sick. that thing fought like a beast. <laughs> that was awesome. Hey, that. that's what you call a Blake, state water that's snapper. State water snapper. He fought hard. Dinner, baby. Heck yeah, dude. If these catch them on the rod and reel, there's no telling how many are down there at the spear. So I'm excited. Let me get ready. Fish is ready to go. Let's get in there. So first dive of the day here, and we're going down looking for snapper. Preferably a red snapper, but I will take a big mangrove. We see some undersized ling here. They swim kind of around me to the outside of the rig. They come back here. You see them in the top left. They spook the fish off. Fortunately, the mangroves come back in and one gives me a shot. y'all well that is the first fish as soon as i moved my gun all of the fish like skirted out i didn't even think it was a very quick movement but the link probably played part in the, the spooking but that's a good mangrove can y'all open the ice chest so back in the water fisher has just come up from his first dive of the day as well and he has got his first fish solid mangrove snapper All right, well, this is actually my second dive of the day, and we're going down into the murk here, and there are plenty of mangrove snapper to choose from. But here I see a red snapper. He kind of swims off into the haze, and out of my peripheral, I see this giant. There's a lot of big reds down there. Luckily that guy gave me a shot. I was going after another one there and uh, he kind of went out into the murk. This guy came in right in my face and put a near spine shot on him. I think I nicked it. All right y'all, well that is my second fish of the day, second drop of the day. I saw several big red snappers just like this guy. Fortunately I was able to make the shot. Near stoned him, awesome freaking fish. This rig is just loaded, got mean green water. It's so good for spearing the snapper because they come right up to you. Like in the clear water, the fish kind of get skittish. They'll stay away from you since they can see you so well. But in this green, they just come right in. It's awesome. Oh, heck yeah, is that your first one? That's my biggest ever. Dude, give us some. Yes. yes. Awesome. Look at that sucker. Big reds, baby. Oh. Dude, you were down there forever. I was like, what is going on? What is I just sat there. There are so many mangroves. I was like, Awesome. Yeah, you and gotta I pass the mangroves. I look out into this haze and I see his white face coming. I just lined it up, shot him right through the gills. Dude, that's an awesome look fish. At that sucker, Perfect dude. shot. Heck yeah. Red snapper for days, baby. Yeah. Dude, that's, that's sick. killer, dude. Congrats, bro. That's definitely uh, your biggest. Oh, yeah, my It's like the second one I've ever shot.
Yeah. There's a lot of big ones, but it's like it's just so murky. I know, it gets dark. I don't even want to shoot at them, it's so murky. Good free, you did? That was a good dog. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it. Free, you did? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. All right, well, got a good mangrove, solid. Fisher got a good red snapper. It's the second one of the day. Heck yeah, dude. Check them out, stud mangroves. Got three red snapper in here, and I think three other mangroves. I shot one mangrove. These things are red. chunks. God, they look so much bigger in the ice spot. Biggins. Look at the shark. Look at the shark. Hammerhead, baby. shark leader. I don't think he likes that heavy mono. It's heavy black mono. We're just going to put on a thin how wire. Would, how would we touch it? I'm just going to tie on a thinner a wire leader here and see if he comes in to munch. Alright, well I put a mullet out there oh. trying to get that hammerhead to eat. And uh Guess something else ate it. Come here. Run them off the side. I love when the reel handle's on the right side. Kingfish. It's not what I wanted. All right, there we go. That is on a giant circle hook, too. Popped off. Perfect. All right, well, that thing got tangled up. And uh, I just put a lot of slack on them. Hook came out. Worked out because I didn't want that kingfish anyways. We're going to let it go. Check out the hook on there. Big circle hook rigged up for a shark and a kingfish. Inhaled the mullet. Slobs. All right, pull them out. These are my two. Those are like some of your first red snapper ever, aren't they? First Definitely keepers. my first big ones. How you feel about that? First ever big donkey red. I feel like I'm king of the world. These suckers. Wow. Heck yeah, dude. Well, check out that box. First rig we stopped it out here. And we got some monster snapper. This was perfect, dude. Everything's lining up, getting out. First two drops, got these. First one got a mangrove. Second drop got a red. Fisher got his first ever donkey keeper reds. This is awesome. They're sitting around. They're sitting down there a ways. The water's not exactly clear but uh, it's that mean green that the red snapper and mango snapper like, so they're letting us get close. All the bullets that we're dodging Are the bones in the garden Never beg for a party so I was just breathing up to do a dive and I looked down and there's this pretty nice sized tarpon down there. I thought it was a barracuda at first from the top view, uh, but it kind of gave me a broadside and it indeed was a tarpon. There's a barracuda actually swimming right by him. That was pretty cool. You don't really see tarpon a whole lot on the rig, so I got pretty excited about seeing it. So we're going down here once again, I am looking for snapper and there's a big platform right here and I decided to kind of sit on top, hover above it as if I go under and shoot a fish while needing to breathe, I don't really want to have to worry about swimming back up through one of the holes. So I kind of sit up here, look around and there's a bunch of small snapper 
cheap sets, stuff like that. But after a second, I decided I can probably look through one of these gaps and see a fish without actually having to go through it. So I looked down and lo and behold, there is a giant. Take a shot on him and he quickly wraps me around this beam and I'm just sitting there trying to get him out. I'm seeing if he's gonna finagle his way out, but he doesn't seem to do that. This Dyneema reel line really gets inside and gets stuck on these barnacles on the rig leg. So I see if he's gonna work himself out. I don't really wanna swim under the platform, like I said, on this dive. So I'm gonna go back up, drop my gun, and then head back down uh, without the gun so I can kind of work all the line out and get the fish back up. I like to leave the gun at the surface as there's just one line going down so you can kind of use it as a guide to descend down, find the fish, and then ascend back up. Also if you're down there with your gun and all the line, it kind of creates a bird nest and increases your chance of getting tangled up. I don't mess with it so I just leave the gun at the surface and go down and untangle as I'm doing here. Uh, once again, just getting all this real line out from the barnacles is all pretty tangled up in there. But I'm able to get the fish out and we proceed to go back up to the surface. Alright, let's get this guy off here. Saw some good ones down there. That dive I had the fish on my line. It was just hard to maneuver and swim around with this guy. So we're gonna put him in the ice box. Alright, there are some toads down there. Is